Flyers TV is sponsored by the Bay Hotel. Uh, Todd, what was your take on, on that performance tonight? A 3 0 loss at home to Belfast Giants? Well, I, mean, I think you said it right on performance. Um, it, the result. Uh, the result didn't really matter tonight. It was the performance that mattered, and we had a great week of practice, and we addressed a number of issues that um, w we thought that make us a better hockey club. We have a great week of uh, we have a great week of training, and uh, um, we knew that this was going to be a step up in pace, and it clearly was. The first ten minutes, I think that uh, we we stuck with the game plan very well, and um, y you know weathered some storms. Um, and also had a couple uh, a decent quality scoring opportunities ourselves, you know. Um, but uh, whether it's lack of uh, y your mental toughness or, um, you know, somebody thinks they have a, a better idea, start getting off track. Um, and, uh, and that's what really hurt us. I mean, you look at it, a bad line change. Well, we got out of that first period 0-0, zero, zero, which is fair enough. Um, a bad line change, a horrible line change. Uh, don't even know what that was all about. Um, one nothing, and then the second goal, um, two guys get clattered up in the corner, uh, and, and we're two nothing down. So two, two mistakes on our behalf uh, r result in, uh, in us being down two nothing, um, and, and that's uh, that's a big difference in that hockey game. I felt sorry for uh, I felt sorry for Brownie tonight because Brownie was on a form tonight that he, he could have stole us that hockey game. Uh, if we had a spark or a bit of a heartbeat, um, and, and we just didn't. And I'll just give uh, another mention to uh, Kyle Haynes um, and Matt Delahaye. I think they're really are the only three players who really turned up to play hockey tonight. What did you say to the boys after the game? Well, pretty much just what I said to you there. Um, you can't you can't play in this league and you can't play hockey if you don't go out there and uh, you you give the opportunity to, to lay it on the line. I know that. Um, over the course of the season, um, I've really uh, defended uh, guys and, and tried to protect them uh, from, uh, uh, y you know, what goes on on the ice. Um, but seeing how that third period, it's just my opinion, but it almost looked like we just kind of given up. And uh, to me, that's absolutely unacceptable. And uh, maybe some of the cat calls weren't warranted, but a, a hell of a lot of it was. And, uh, um, you know, I felt... Uh, uh, like uh, booing sometimes at myself because uh, that wasn't uh, an impressive response uh, from from guys that you would think that would be in an attitude to fight for their jobs. Did you see any improvements tonight from from last weekend? Absolutely. I thought that Kyle Haynes, ten and I talked to Haynesy all week as as well as a number of players, but I, I thought that Haynes was the Haynes that we signed three years ago. He was all over them, uh, closing down in space, doing exactly what we practiced all week. Um, and, and he was a very good hockey player for us. Matt Delahaye um, quietly goes about his business. He's been very unassuming. He's very low maintenance, good kid, played well. And you know what? Um, Brownie's come under some criticism. But these last couple of weeks, uh, Brownie has stepped up to the mark and, and made some big saves for this club. Um, so a lot of positives there. And the first 10 minutes when guys were um, were on board with what was going on, um, uh, you know, that's the type of hockey game we're going to have to play uh, to be successful and win. But um, no mental toughness there. Uh, what did you make of Belfast Giants, the first opportunity we've had to play against them competitively? Well, I don't, um, I don't often uh, go into other teams too much, but, you, you know, looking at, at that lineup that they've put together, and uh, you know some of the resumes in that team. Um, that's a good, good ice hockey club. Uh, very, uh, very deep, especially with Murph back there, a former player of ours years ago. Um, allows them to have that uh, extra import out on the ice. You know, it makes a big difference. Uh, they they have a lot of depth there, and, and uh, their coach has them. Um, uh, Systematically, um, you know, we were coming up against uh, walls at a time, and uh, I really like the look of that squad. Uh, what's your thoughts going into the, the game tomorrow away at Belfast? Well, y you know what? I think that um, uh, these guys here, for numerous reasons, I think they feel incredible pressure here, and, and at times we, we've put on uh, better performances on the road. Um, 
even when I said that, it, we've been very inconsistent this year. So um, if we show up and play like we're supposed to tomorrow, um, y you know, we'll, we'll give them a run for it. We knew Belfast wasn't going to um, roll over. Um, they weren't going to uh, take it easy on us because they're shooting for the, the top of this group, um, probably aiming to get Manchester in the next round. Um, so it's going to be just as tough, uh, if not tougher. And, uh, and um, this is something I think that I protected uh, the boys from too as well. Um, but you can't deny um, that uh, we had zero physicality tonight. We have guys in here to, uh, to you know, uh, at least bump and grind down low. Uh, guys avoiding hits. Guys look scared at times. And uh, Belfast, I think they recognized that after the first period um, because they got a lot more physical in the second period and you can see guys backing away from it, which is very disappointing uh, from uh, uh, a coaching standpoint because um, it's the easiest thing to do in the world is to go out there and give a guy a bump. He passes or shoots the puck away, just give him a bump. I mean, there's rarely any fights in this league anymore. Um, you know, if you're scared to get in a fight, um, no one's asking you to go out there and fight, but you're certainly asked to play physical. How would you rate Fife Flair's chances in the in the Challenge Cup? Well, we've qualified for the next round, so we're either going to get Nottingham, uh, Sheffield, or uh, Cardiff. I haven't looked uh, at it that close, um, but uh, that that's uh, th that's the team that we're gonna we're gonna bump up against, um, and you know, so we get an opportunity to go to the next round. I think for the last. Uh, Four years, we've uh, we've always qualified for the next round and, and stumbled at that hurdle, um, and we're going to be up against it. Specifically, uh, the form that we're in right now. Um, and like I said at the start of the interview, I just we're, we're really missing that uh, that spark and uh, and a little bit of physicality. Where's th where are you hoping that spark's going to come from? Well, if it doesn't come from inside, it's come from outside. Um, uh, you know, I alluded uh, in the press uh, last week. Um, that uh, we might have to shake things up. I think it's apparent that um, um, just by looking at it initially, um, we're not uh, we're not going to go down fighting. So uh, y you know we're constantly on the lookout to make this club uh, better, and uh, we won't sit back and uh, and and just allow this to happen. It's not the easiest process in the world, but um, it's a process that we have to go through, and um, something needs to be done. Probably next weekend's three and three. And, um, y you know, um, it's sad. like I feel, uh, you know, for once, uh, I think standing here in this interview position, I'm actually, I'm always on the defense of the players, always on the defense of the players. But the one thing, and, I, and I don't, I'm not seeing eye to eye with uh, everybody out there right now, but the one thing that I do know is this building responds to guys working hard and when they're laying on the line. I, I know that unequivocally that this building here will watch a team lose a hockey game if they know that a club's given their all. But right now, we don't have the, cl uh, the, the crowd on our backs or, or they don't have our back right now. But you know what, I don't blame them specifically right now because uh, you know that we're not playing like a team that's, that's leaving it all on the ice right now. To me, that's uh, immensely disappointing. Cheers, Doug. Thank you. Thank you.